Over there, France. And over here, Italy. In between, a whole pile of trouble. Come and join us in our attempt to ride to 10,000 feet. Almira, a long way from anywhere. We are on the western shoulder of a nice Turin axis. It's high, it's wild. By car, it's one of Italy's most enchanting dead end roads. By EMTB, it's an intoxicating thriller. <laughs> Don't fall here, AD, whatever you do. Whoa! Holy <laughs> I need to lose some weight. We've just ridden, I think, some of the best single track I've ever ridden. I don't think any adventure would be complete without an element of road tripping. I'm going to stop off at an autogrill in Italy. This. This. This is what I love about autogrills. Oh, random. Now this is the key thing. An espresso should never cost more than two euros. 140, 140 euros for an espresso here, but you are on a motorway, obviously you go to more out of the way places, and as you'll see later today, probably no more than a euro. What I didn't expect though is rain. Hopefully where we get to in Mamora, it's gonna be sunny. A blockbuster awaited. Still, we had to get there first. Cue fast, blazing hot Italian roads. Wow, this weather's not looking ideal, is it? Weather wise? It is like. Um... What, yeah. what, what have we got here? Uh -huh. This is mushroom, this porcini mushroom. Porcini. That's the, that's the best one. And there's Antonio. Hi. Ciao Antonio. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, Antonio is the man. He's yeah. the man who... Can we go and see Antonio? Who, who took there. Hi, <laughs> uh, Ciao Antonio. Ciao. These are... Uh, how long did it take you to get these? Yes. Two days? One day? Two days. Did you walk? Yes. Okay. Walk. What, in these woods? Here. Okay. I live here. Yeah. In Colle San Giovanni. Colle San Giovanni. Wow. Uh, Come on, okay. se vuole, se no, ci sei il, viene con lui anche. Sì, sì, sì. la usa. Abbiamo l'altra, la donna. Boh, mi ha fatto vedere tutto. Sì, voilà, sì, perfetto. Okay. Allora. Questo per la suite, giusto? Sì, sì, sì. sì. I mean, you can keep your trail centers, you can keep your bike parks. I think it's about going to places you've never been to before and then just being, just being surprised by, I mean, the man with the mushrooms, porcini mushrooms and smoke coming out the chimney. It's like, you know, it's still September. We're at like, I don't know, probably like 5,000 feet here. And uh, I'm, I'm genuinely, Oh, I'm genuinely a bit emotional. It's uh, it's a hell of a spot.
How did you sleep? I did sleep it. I mean, one of my perfect ride would begin with a perfect sleep. I've definitely not had that. No resorts, no chairlifts, and no nonsense. Edith, what's the plan? Are we going to 1,700 metres? Yeah, we're going to head to Monte Bellino. Yeah. The task then would be a simple one. Attempt to ride with one 750 watt hour battery to 10,000 feet. This is like the Y Valley, Steve. Well, I was going to say, this is all very uh, yeah. lowland moss terrain, isn't it? Whoa! <laughs> What's he what doing? The... <laughs> what on earth is he? <laughs> Adi, we're literally... Oh. We're literally a kilometre into the trail. Oh. We're on manufactured terrain and you're at a standstill. I haven't warmed up yet, Steve. I tell you what, it doesn't... It doesn't bode well. I am so looking forward to getting out to these trees and into the blue skies and having an espresso later, Eddie. Ah, oh, shit. Shit what? <sighs> I got the water. Are you serious? Oh, I'll see you up there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we've got 900 watt hours. <laughs> hey, I'll see you in the hill, right? What an idiot. <laughs> We've now transitioned from uh, the tarmac road onto double track. Aim of today, as I mentioned earlier, is a very simple one, to get to 10,000 feet. I think it's only at that point is that the true single track fun and games begin. I can even see some sheep. I think, uh, I think being above the tree line hints at the kind of altitude that we got here now. Mouth's really dry. Quite a timely uh, trough, trough stop. Keep off. I think it's do, do upable for sure. Oh my God, it's a three story. Oh, love places like this. This is part of, uh, part of the reason I like adventuring in the hills. Look at that beautiful window. So cool. I tell you what, if that ain't out of a spaghetti western, Nothing is. What an incredibly beautiful place. Of course, they filmed Spaghetti Westerns in Sardinia, didn't they? Wow. I can imagine people stopping here, either coming over from France or heading over into France, because we're just at the border. We've arrived at around about 1980, 2,000 metres. Uh, top of the mountain, heading on for 3,000 metres. Uh, should have point out actually that uh, the new run on is 150 mil travel, 29 inch wheels, really good balance on trails such as this. It'll be really interesting to see how this, what is ultimately, you know, a trail bike will deal with proper, proper mountain conditions. We're going to be traversing just underneath the top of the ridge up there. So it's going to be pretty tasty, I have to say. The plan was still as it ever was to get up a very big mountain on minimum assistance. As you can see the uh, sheep and goats above me. Hold on, I think we've got the shepherd up here. 
And his dog. Hi. So he's talking to uh, Costil with the dogs. Apparently his place is up on the mountain there. So, uh, wow. At this moment, just wondering where Aidy is. Having forgotten some vital pieces of kit, I'm hoping he'll get back in touch with us by the time we get up to uh, the call. Yeah. yeah. Just because I've got 900 watt hour doesn't mean I'm going to back down and get the coffee. Ah. When I go on these adventures, I, a lot of the time I do go by myself. But it is nice to have Aidy to, to pour the coffee. You can did we, bring the coffee, right? Can we have a ride where the coffee situation goes to plan? Yeah. yeah. So, so far on our travels, uh, no coffee machine, broken coffee machine, <laughs> AD breaks the coffee machine, and on this trip, no hot does, water. No hot water. With AD having delivered the liquid to lift our spirits even higher, we soldiered ever upwards on a majestically created military road. Only a few thousand feet remained. Marathon, the real name. Are you going to Snickers, you It's a marathon. Don't run off. I'll have a bite of that. Well, here we are, Jones. I'm going to get the top. Nearly at the top. Nearly at the top. Of the double track. Of the double track. And then it gets... The real deal starts. <laughs> look at, look at that bowl. Look at that bowl. It's insane, eh? <laughs> like to have a sneaky look across into France. Let's do that. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> That's a treat. That is a treat. That is a treat. I suppose that's the uh, heart and soul of E mountain biking right there. No resort, no chairlifts, no cafes, no cappuccinos. And actually, do you know what? No route marking. This is proper raw mountain biking. I tell you what, I always talk about my bikes that we ride in these big adventures, but how about what's in my backpack? Now, um, obviously when you're going into the mountains, it's really essential to have a waterproof and breathable jacket. So I just want to introduce you to my gore wear, my gore bike wear jacket. Now the uh, Gore-Tex membrane has actually got um, a robust laminated outer textile. Uh, which you know increases the, the durability and also it's got uh, a, a treatment on the inside which means it's pretty cool on my skin so it's actually getting a bit cool now uh, the cool thing about this jacket it's super packable 272 grams and obviously if you're in the mountains you need something which is gonna fit over your helmet like so it's just really important folks to have something like this Seen much crema. Well, the water's too cold, isn't it? With the double track done, oh, and the 10,000 feet seemingly done and dusted too, our attention now was focused solely on the difficult next stage. It was time to belt in and hang on. It is all about to get hairy. Oh, hold up, that wasn't the top. Whoa, this is quite. Uh... Exposed, yeah? Oh, we've got a hiker bike. <laughs> oh, oh. We've got a hiker bike. Oh, heavy on the lungs. 
and my knee, which I damaged whilst dancing, limbo dancing Christmas time. Watch you don't slip. Watch you don't slip. Don't fall here, Aidy, whatever you do. Oh my God, this is amazing. So I tell you what's to my left, to Aidy's left is, you start rolling there, you're looking at a probably, I don't know, 700 meter drop. Oh, right, okay. Oh, holy shit. So I'm trying not to get too close to AD. Trying not to get, I'm gonna go through, right? Whoa! And there's more of it here. Ground is really soft. Oh, crikey, right. This is now a push. You got Joey in front, the cameraman, with a big, probably 25 kilo backpack, 23 kilo bike, and loose limestone. So you see what I mean, folks? That's the kind of, kind of stuff we're talking about. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Let's get off this hill. Yeah, I just need to calm it down a bit. Okay, I'll not lie. I'm looking forward to getting off this hill. Oh, which way? Oh my Lord. We nibbled and pecked our way across the scree, yeah. still some way from the top. The exposure to our left only increased. Oh, I ain't gonna be going up there. Holy fucking shit. I normally feel not too bad from places like this. For some reason today, it feels a bit different. I've got to be honest, uh, I ain't enjoying this. I need to lose some weight. I just want to get to some safe ground. Oh. Have you seen that? Have you actually seen that? <sighs> Top. Top of the hill. Right then, boys. This is where you're going to kill me. But you see that track down there? That's the official mountain bike trail. And I put you up here. <laughs> what? So this road trail thing you see coming down the valley. Yeah. That's sort of the official trail, but it's a road. That'd be boring, wouldn't it? So which way are we going then? That way. You absolute donut. Of course, let's do, not do and, the sensible and one. And we're let's, going that way. Let's go across the screw yeah. slope with the death row. Who was the one that just pushed up the steep bit? There was no I one said, turned. No F it, I'm not going that way. No, why, why don't you just go around there? It's like, that's like across a scree slope with like a thousand meter drop. Well, Adrian, a thousand meter drop. Stephen, a thousand meter drop. <laughs> Either side. Why make things easy for ourselves, eh? Okay, I'm going to try 80's bright idea. Across the scree slope. Ours was now one of fast technical descending. Tired of body, but high on both altitude and mood, we began began our exit of a scale speed and rawness intoxicating.
if you just come in here for a second, just a bit closer, and just stop. Don't move your feet. It's so silent and it is so peaceful here. Was that your phone? You stupid <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think what it proved today, apart from those pretty horrible moments on the cliff, was that the e-mountain bike, we did 10,000 feet of climbing. We've just ridden, I think, some of the best single track, most beautiful single track I've ever ridden. And, and for me, I mean, I've done some big rides with AD. I've never been to this part of the Alps. And, you know, geography is my background and, and coming here is like really, really special. It's one of, I think it's one of the finest parts of all the Alps. Last orders. Wow, Mamma Mia. Oh, well done, yeah. Joey. Well, Joey. Steak and chips and a refreshing drink. <laughs>